Hello, my dear gardeners. I came back from vacation and I had a different look at my house. You know how when you step out of your house for some time and then you come back and you can, you can see so clearly how changes must be done. So the same as me, I took a very good look at the front of my garden and I realized that I need to take two shrubs down. Totally take them out, at least one, and drastically remove another one from the front. Just look at this big lilac tree. Shrub, actually. So the nature of lilac. Lilac wants to become wide and happy. And it is really a crime when we are trying to squeeze my lilac into that very narrow space between the driveway where we have cars and our sidewalk from the house. So that was clearly a mistake. And I saw it very well when I came back from my vacation. So what I'm going to do, I was thinking about it, maybe I can keep trimming it, but that's like a futile struggle against the nature of the plant. You want to put it into the shape which is not uh, natural for the plant. So what I decided, I'm going to take it out. And why I'm doing it, not only because this lilac wants to be wider, uh, coming into the, our sidewalk. Look, I'm walking here and a lot of times people are just walking on the grass and it is trimmed here already. But the other reason is when we are approaching the house from that side and let me walk here with you. Here we have this tree so it is kind of blocking the view of the house but when you come from this side on the road you see a beautiful view of the house, you see my beautiful flowers on the house, you see my hydrangeas, you see a green door, very Irish green door, and you really enjoy how everything looks. But when you come to see my house from another side, you really don't see anything, there is big lilac blocking it all, and um, on the last minute you see the whole beautiful composition of the front. That's another reason I, why I want to take that lilac down. Americans do love beautiful Kirby Peel, right? So we here, when we moved into this house, we needed desperately privacy, at least a little bit. So this strip of uh, flower bed in front of the house was a little bit of like a psychological separation from the road. But generally, uh, the front of the house, the way the gardens are built. We start from grass and then we move to shrubs and then we move to foundation planting, famous foundation planting for United States, of course. So here I have this big statement, which is my lilac tree. And statement is not pretty at all because there is a huge um, uh, difference in height from my hydrangeas. And then we have this big thing and this thing is not pretty and not a statement and doesn't look like anything uh, handsome. So, plus it's blocking everything here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this empty space to highlight my beautiful used here, which I have in front of my house. And they are trained to have this ball structures right here. It's in the process of training. So you can see clearly this structure here, right? But you can't see it here. This one, this U is hidden behind my lilac, plus another U I have here. So I have a feeling if this lilac is off, and I'm going to show you before and after in this video, the view of the house would be so much better. So let me get my cutting gears, my glasses. Uh, what I'm going to do, the way I deal with big shrubs, of course not big trees, like something like this. This is here to stay, these hungry maples. But if I would need to take something like this, I would need to call the service. But that I would be able to do it myself. And what I do, I don't want to deal with the root system. So I cut all the shrubs like those, to the foundation, to the ground level, and I let the stump be on its own. It will sprout. Usually it's a good idea to do it in the fall. Why? Because in the fall, all our plants are very active, collecting nutrients and energy from the sun to store in the root system for next year. So when they have energy, they will have beautiful growth next year in spring. I don't want this 
stump right there to sprout so I'm going to cut this shrub in the fall this way I will deprive this lilac this root system of lilac to collect energy for the winter for spring and next year the sprouting from that root system would be weaker than it should be and in order to deal with that I will stay on top of cutting all the vegetation coming from those roots this way I will basically slowly deprive the root system of nutrients and eventually uh, my lilac roots will die and they are not going to be giving me any trouble and that root system is not going to be bothering me a lot I probably will be doing some low level perennials here tough as nails because look this is a strip between the driveway and the walk and this is famous for being very dr bone dry a lack of nutrients and uh, it does need a lot of uh, water which i really don't give it on a regular basis so probably a very tough perennials will go here but that would be another step right now i want to open my beautiful flower house with wonderful ukrainian flowers to show everyone who is passing by and enjoy uh, the quiet moment in the front of uh, this area right for this job I do have glasses because I want to have my eyes protected and I have this electrical saw which does the job so well and so quick so this lilac will go down unfortunately very quickly What do you think? Whew, I'm all sweaty. It's warm today. So the thing is, this shrub, it is beautiful in spring with beautiful deep red flowers, but unfortunately it looks overgrown and also it is too big for this space. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to trim it drastically and see how it will respond like literally one foot from the ground and make it like a pancake looking i know plants don't want to be in the shape they are not designed to be so if this uh, shrub doesn't want to respond well to a small size one foot i'm asking it to be then i will take it out but then imagine this guy is out and I see my beautiful you here with a topiary. And then we have a nice play of those topiary balls playing with each other around the entrance to my house. And the view is open. I like it. I like it. Now this will be a very interesting territory to work with. It's not really sunny because our maple trees are slowly taking over and I see that eventually my roses have to be replanted out of here from the front. So no more beautiful dream of roses growing under my front windows. They are struggling already in shade. So there has to be something shade loving, drought tolerating, shrubs or perennials, something like that. But that would be a thing for next year in spring.
There is a tree here, a maple growing. Mm, I wouldn't be able to pull him out, but at least I can cut him. Okay, what do you think? Now, suddenly this area is all opened up. You see a little suffering of shape here, which is okay. I'm going to trim it. So my you will build this area very quickly because of all access to sun. And this looks like a little jewelry box here. So I have to be very careful about planting here because all the eyes, in a way, are going to be focused on this space. All the passers-by. Mm, I'm not sure if I can do boxwoods, but it would be nice to do a little like a boxwood patier here with maybe light gentle annuals in the middle hmm i'm not sure about salt boxwood is very sensitive to road salt maybe that would not be an option and unfortunately this blue indigo has to go it's not going to be able to survive here i am not sure about this sedum Autumn Joy, I'm not sure. I probably will just clean this area out, sit, read some books in the long, during longer winter days and create some sort of a design here. I will have plenty of time in the winter to do that. All right, now let's walk and compare how my house looked and now Oh my gosh, what a difference, right? I like it. Suddenly you see all my hues. They're getting a little bit too fat. Don't you think? This guy is so big here. Oh, he's a happy fellow. Quite a different development now. So now everybody who is passing by right away, they see my house and they say, who lives in this house with beautiful flowers painted on it? Love it, love it, love it. Well, garden keeps living. Even if it's different shapes and sizes and ages of shrubs. Now the big thing would be to dispose of all this shrubbery. And I'm going to harvest some beautiful long um, stems to create some garden designs. And hopefully this tree, this shrub would be able to leaf out a little bit more before the winter. And live through the winter. Well, happy gardeners. I hope you're going to have a wonderful day and I will see you next time and enjoy your gardens.